What's up, y'all? Everybody's wondering what's going on with Devontae and Devin in the lab with their 1v1 that's coming out in December. Make sure you buy your tickets. I'm going to leave the link down in the description how to get your tickets. But I'm about to find out some answers for you guys in person from the man himself and while I'm cutting his hair, giving him that fresh cut. If you knew, hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure you got the bell notification turned on. Let's get into it. Also, if you in my city, you in Northeast Ohio, you trying to get dropped off, hit my inbox on Instagram at Malik Salam. The link will be in the description for that also. Literally watch a guy since he started college and watch all his vlogs and then to one day meet him, play with him on the same team and then to be able to cut his hair now, like he pays me for my business and now we're gonna actually do business soon. Stay tuned for that. That's just crazy. You gotta think about that. Shit don't happen for a reason. Sometimes you just have to go out and get it and make it happen. So, what made you want to go up again? I don't know. They, they, uh, the In the Lab Gaming invited me to do this thing with like Julian Newman and a couple of top tier basketball players. And, and then they put together this graphic and stuff. So I was just like kind of messing around a little bit. And I was just like, yo, it wouldn't be close. Just obviously trying to be stupid and just mess with everybody. But obviously, I know it would be a good game. Yeah. Um, and uh, more to bring up more of the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you know like we just said the other day. If you're if you're able to talk shit, you gotta be willing to receive it too. You know. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Woo! My bad. Um. So. Uh, so then I DM'd him like playing me or whatever because he put something out like, um, who should I play? So everything has been misconstrued, obviously, because it wasn't like I just DM'd him and I was like, yo, play me out of nowhere. Yeah. I just DM'd him after he put something out, like, who should I play? And so I was like, yo, play me. And uh, he didn't get back to me for like four or five months or something. So this is back in um, August. This was January and I reached out and then he didn't get back until like April or something like that, I think. Um, this was before the gaming thing, so so then I was just like messing around and being like, oh yeah, it would be cool. Um, you know, it was kind of just built up over time, and then Cash released the video that got like seven hundred thousand views on Devin um, talking shit basically. Yeah, and it was like, yo, who should I play next? Blah blah blah, all that extra stuff again. So then someone commented on the play free guy and it got like the it got like a lot of um a lot of, a lot of likes, yeah, you know. And so he reached back out and then we should make this a thing. And then, you know, it kinda just became a thing over time, like you know, I'd beat Dev, Dev would beat me and he's like the king of basketball on YouTube, so you would wanna go up against somebody like that, you know? Yeah. So there's like a whole list, like of 50 YouTubers saying about who yeah. can like be the best. Yeah, everyone's got an ego, you know, including myself. So I mean, yeah, it all. One of you once have you done on YouTube? Now? Yeah. I said that video um, came back um, out maybe back in January. 20, 30, one on ones. Now to the date, but back then maybe one, <laughs> two, and one of them was worth. Uh, was this verse my D3 teammates and one was probably worth like a reverse uh, high school or something. Yeah, I've seen like you doing like the, the 5v5s with like um, your teammates on the team versus like you know, fans, I think, or was it like other students? Uh, we were playing like against high schoolers. Um, like I was just going like up, open gyms and stuff. Yeah. Cause I thought it was cool, you know. And it was, again, it was a niche to break into for me, so it worked out. Now, how often are you training um, up for that game? Every day. Well, the, the 
again, the part that gets misconstrued is that I'm only training for this one on one and I'm not. Yeah, you keep saying it's more than that. Yeah, I'm, try- I'm trying for pro- professional basketball team um, in January, like early January. Now, is that here or overseas? It's for a couple of European, European teams, but the tryouts are held in Dallas. So I'm just going over there for like literally a night and a half, probably. And, ooh. And uh, getting shit done, you know? Yeah. Now, I remember you told me, you know, talking about uh, the change in your diet and everything. Yeah. Like, was it like a real dramatic change? Yeah, because I kind of just was eating anything and everything because I was playing so much. Yeah. But I, I really wanted to focus on a lower caloric intake <clears throat> so I could kind of like shred my body basically and then hit the weight room. So um, you're thinking, do you actually um, keep protein high but car, like carbs and stuff low? Um, I think I do, but not on purpose because... Uh, there's a, there's a lot less like calories and some things that I've been eating. Yeah. I've been eating a decent amount of seafood too, actually. Ooh, what's say. Yeah, that's how I blow my nose. You gotta get it. What is it? Continue what you're saying? Um, yeah, just a low calorie intake. Are you eating like a lot of like veggies and fruit, or is it more like like lean meat um, for the diet? I mean, when you do a low caloric intake, it really doesn't matter what you eat as long as you watch how many calories are in everything. Because like, I'm not necessarily watching out the fat and the sugars inside of it. Yeah. Um, and I got and I got the idea from this other YouTuber named Jesse. And I've been talking to him ever since he was a Division Three lacrosse player. And now he's like a bodybuilder and everything. And he went from like 29,000 subscribers like six months ago. And now he's at like 210,000. Mm. And so he's growing like crazy fast online. And uh, I was telling him about like how do you lose fat, how do you shred before you start working out, becoming bigger. And he was just like, well, honestly, you can really see what you want. You just got to have a low calorie. Um, diet. So, are you eating more dense food in the diet? But like, that keeps you fuller longer. Um, I just have a larger portion, and when I say low calorie, it doesn't mean like I have to have only a thousand calories in a day. Yeah. Um, I know I'm burning calories. Like, I just I use my Apple Watch to help me out a lot because I'll burn anywhere from like eight hundred to two thousand every day. So as long as I can keep it under a certain amount. You know, or just do the difference on the calories that I burn for the day that I'm good. You know, if I've been sitting on my computer doing the course calls all day, then, um, you know, I gotta be careful with just sitting there snacking all the time. Yeah. But, and then drinking like a fuck ton of water on top of that because uh, I was trying to be a little bit more hydrated because I was, I was drinking like a lot of apple juice and water and stuff. And, and, Gatorade, so now yeah. it's just like strictly water. So Gatorade wasn't really helping you stay hydrated. It's more of just like, were you going after for the taste? Yeah. Okay, because sure. that's what I used to do all the time too. That and then the occasional Pedialyte. <laughs> but we've had that talk. Oh, yeah. Now for the um the tickets and stuff, do you guys have like a link that'll go straight to the tickets? Yeah, so basically how it works is like I'll just I'll click the show. But if you click the link it'll take you to like the the graphic here and it's like I didn't realize you just put it in your bio. Yeah, it's Divin in the lab versus Friga, D Friga and then it'll come up. Um you can buy now and then once you buy it you'll get an email with the password to log in but even if people are sharing the password it only lets you use it for one IP address so you can share it you just might get screwed over because in my video I was going to end up putting the link for you guys uh, for the hardware to buy the tickets oh okay for sure 
appreciate that. Now, have you had any other YouTubers? Like, I don't mention anything about the uh, the one you want. Um, my age, but nobody opinions. like nobody crazy big like Cash or Flight, but like White Iverson and Chris Staples and a couple other people have asked about like undercards and stuff. So we're trying to work on something like that to where like if, you know if you're paying for our event. Um, other YouTubers can like play live in the undercard, but um, uh, but that, that's kind of like what you get with the ten dollars. Yeah. So now, what do you view it live? Is it going to be on YouTube? No, because YouTube takes such a large percent, and we're trying to like. We're basically trying to do it so we can have this money for like a Christmas giveaway thing. Yeah. And it's hard to be like, yo, pay 10 bucks, you're going to be the ones giving it away, basically. But like, at the end of the day, it's not a good deal if you're not watching a one-on-one -on -one because we're basically, we're doing it to finally get it done and over with. And then we're also doing it to raise some money because I know I want to give it my cut to like a wheelchair basketball fund. Yeah. That is it right now. Um... And then I want to start this little non-profit where I'm like help pay people's rent and stuff for like a year. But this has to do well for me to be able to do that shit, so. Are you reaching out to other like YouTubers to get their like support? Yeah, I, I have, but I don't know if everybody's completely in on it. Just because like they're all doing their stuff too right now. And yeah. And it's hard to get like other creators support on something that doesn't make them money, you know? Do it. Mm. Like another thing I got from my channel and stuff I'm gonna end up doing is um I actually had an idea I wanna um mention to you if you wanna uh, like try doing it. So with me what I was gonna end up doing is with how I kinda approach is where I can kinda get back in the mixture of haircuts. So like say if you were to say uh, have people subscribe to me once I hit like a thousand whatever I can give away fifty free haircuts mm -hmm. something like that yeah but in general like what am I doing like yeah. one on one wise yeah I know I see you uh, yeah, post about that. yeah you know, I see you like at uh, Mount Union and everything actually doing your own you know trainings yeah and stuff but are you actually still doing the sure I see you do the boxing are you doing anything else. Are you actually taking like jogs or anything or? I've been running to Mount Union, which is about like 0.7 miles and then running back to like a mile and a half um, there and back for the workout and then um, doing the boxing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday in the morning, bright and early and then, uh, and then working out here every morning or every night depending on when I can get another gym so it'll be tonight for me because I can't get in the gym I couldn't get in the gym this morning because they had uh, basketball practice yeah so it just fluctuates because there's so many um there's so many sports right now that have to rely on doing stuff like with the same facilities because division three you don't have like endless fucking fields and not every not every team has their own gym, you know, so yeah. it all just depends on when it's open. And as soon as I can get in there, I try and get in there because it's also therapeutic or everything going on is so damn stressful because I'm doing so many things right now. Um, you know, uh, today I'm seeing my family for lunch, but then I also have like seven uh, course calls. And then I was trying to edit for this next documentary thing that goes up tomorrow. And then I was supposed to get in at the gym last night to play in the game. Um, like, there's just so many things that are happening, you know. So the the fact that me playing basketball is like. If you made it to this part of the video, I appreciate helps, it. You know? If you hit the like button and you know, subscribe if you're new. Part two of the interview of the haircut will be put up soon. Just stay tuned.